Hi, welcome back to our series where we're talking about the eyes of fear and how when you look at life through the eyes of fear, it will mess your life up, it will tank your life, it will make your life less than it needs to be. And the suggestion that we're making to you is that if you're going to be a follower of God, you have to look through the eyes of faith. We've been looking at Numbers 13, the story of the children of Israel as they got ready to move into the Promised Land. And we talked to you before about how sometimes we have to weed through conflicting information. In this particular episode, we want to talk about what happens if you look through the eyes of fear. And when you look through the eyes of fear, here's what I know. You'll develop a scarcity mindset. I really do believe that this is a huge problem for most people as they live their life. A scarcity mindset is out there all the time threatening to tank, destroy, and ruin the life of followers. A scarcity mindset will rob you of the joy of enjoying the provisions and resources that God places in your life. Here's what I'm talking about. A scarcity mindset happens when we focus on what we don't have. In verse 27 of Numbers 13, the ten fearful spies note that the promised land has no room for them. They talk about the Amalekites, the Hittites, the Jebusites, the Amorites, the Canaanites. They talk about that they all had places to live in the Promised Land. The implication was that there was nothing left there for the Israelites. See, when you look through the eyes of fear, that's what the future looks like. In seminary, you would hear preacher wannabes say that, oh, well, if you're going to be a pastor, all the good churches are taken. <laughs> And that was one of those conversations I used to have behind the scenes. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. Or maybe the alternative would be, well, go start your own church. I mean, it, it, there's a whole lot of ways to face things, but what we want to do is we look at things and our response always needs to be faith-filled, faith-driven. The Israelites looked and they saw that there was no room in the promised land for them. And because there was no room, it must not be where they're supposed to be. At some point, they misaligned what God had told them and what God had promised them. And the reality became what they saw in the circumstances. And they allowed those circumstances to dictate what was a very bad choice. When you live life afraid that you don't have enough, you're living life thinking that God won't give you enough. And if you think that God is not going to give you enough in every given moment, then your faith will struggle and you'll never know the joy of the fullness of the life that God has called you to. That's the difference between living and looking at life through the eyes of fear or looking through the eyes of faith. Faith is the best way to view the world. And we'll continue looking at this in our next episode.